Solaris by Stennis Lolem Chapter 1 Newcomer At 1900 hours ship's time, I climbed down the metal ladder past the bays, on either side, into the capsule. Indeed, there was just enough room to raise my elbows. After I attached the end of the cables into the port jutting from the side of the capsule, my spacesuit filled with air, and from that point I couldn't make the slightest movement. I stood, or rather hung suspended, in a bed of air, all of one piece with my metal shell. Raising my eyes through the convex porthole, I could see the walls of the bay and higher up, leaning in, Modard's face. It quickly disappeared and everything went dark as the heavy protective cone was put in place from above. I heard the eight times repeated whir of the electric motors tightening the screws then the hiss of air entering the shock absorbers. My eyes were getting using to the dark. I could already make out the pale green shape of the only gauge. Ready, Kelvin? I heard in my headset. Ready, Modard, I replied. Don't worry about a thing the station I'll bring you in, he said. Bon voyage. Before I could answer, there was a rasping sound overheard and the capsule shook. I tensed my muscles instinctively, but nothing else happened. When do I take off? I asked, hearing a rustling noise like fine grains of sand falling on a diaphragm. You are already in flight, Kelvin, be well, came Modard's voice in my ear. Before I believed it, a broad gap opened up in front of my face, through which I could see stars. I tried in vain to spot Alpha Aquarii, towards which the Prometheus was now headed.